Good afternoon, where we're here from Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort, yeah. where we're here to stay on a little staycation. Yeah. We're gonna be here for about two nights. Yeah. Two nights, three days. It's a pretty cool resort. We've never actually stayed here before. Um, we've come here and visited, yeah. but we've never actually stayed here. So this is a, a first for the two of us. It's a yeah. cool theme, not, uh, like Native American wilderness theme. Yeah. We're inviting you guys to join us. So if you want to, let's go. So we just got done parking our car right down there. We came up these giant steps because sitting atop this hill is the giant, it's a huge, huge building, the main lobby of the Wilderness Lodge Resort. Also, cool little detail, you'll see the little hoof prints in the ground. Pretty neat detail, kind of all over the concrete. Such a cool, greeting right when you first come in right into the wilderness lodge you'll see this big a-frame tells you that masks are required at all indoor locations so we have to mask up before going in one of the cool things about this resort is the incredible amount of detail in it like these big giant doors that were supposed to look like they're closing they you see that but they're not they're not real doors but they look like giant log cabin doors and right when you first come in there's this little walkway, I believe that's the third floor. It is a walkway. It is a walkway. I've actually traversed across that before. It's kind of weird. It's kind of the only uh, atrium that's, that looks like that. And then you'll see that they've got the go, to, go directly to your room. You complete your online check-in service. You scan this little QR code to get the My Disney Experience app. You can activate your digital key or use your magic band to access your room, but I think we'll do it on our phone. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Bands. We'll give it a shot when we get up to our room and test it out on our phone. And here we are inside the grand lobby of the Wilderness Lodge, one of my favorite lobbies on Disney property. Very cool. Very cozy. Mm -hmm. So right when you walk in, over to the left is Whispering Canyon Cafe, one of the dining establishments here at Wilderness Lodge. I like just taking in all the little details of the chandelier. You'll see the bison roaming in like the Indian teepees. It's kind of cool. It's very neat. Should have brought our hidden Mickey book. Oh yeah, you're right. That would have been a good one to bring on this trip. Dang. I'm sure there's it. lots of hidden Mickeys around here. We'll just have to look around. Yeah. And you'll see this giant totem. Jen pointed out that all the totems are very different. On both sides. Yeah, both sides. There's one on this side. And then there's one on the other side over here. That works. Vastly different totem designs. And then I just noticed. What's that? On top of the wood, they've got carvings on some of them. See the Oh yeah, you're right. These like... And the turkey. Oh yeah, you're right. There's all sorts of different animals. That's cool. Definitely a lot to take in and a lot to look at. We definitely look like tourists, just like, Look whoa. at the beaver. <laughs> There's a beaver. the beaver. And on the other side of the atrium is one of my favorite features inside of a Disney hotel, the spring which actually goes all the way outside into the waterfall out near the pool. You'll see that the bubbling spring water goes right under this bridge and directly outside and over to the waterfall, which we'll take a closer look at later because we're definitely going to be utilizing the pool. And to keep with the Native American theme of this resort, they've got a nice little artifact exhibit just outside. The river bend. <laughs> see what I did there? Yeah. Pretty neat to see this big giant fireplace. 
and it towers all the way up to the top. What a pretty resort, Jen. I know. It's very pretty. I like, I'm just looking at all the details. Yeah, there's a lot of details, and, and I kind of remember this resort having a lot of details in it. And in case you're wondering what type of rocks make up the fireplace at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, they've got a whole directory here listing off all the different types of rocks. It's kind of cool. Looks like there's, what, eight? Yeah. yeah, eight different rocks that make up this giant fireplace here at the Wilderness Lodge. Definitely the centerpiece of the entire lobby. I bet you this is really cool on a nice chilly day. Yeah, we're not getting that. <laughs> Check it out, there's oh little God. raccoons. Look how cute they are. Little raccoons poking their head out oh of the, God, so, the so wooden cute. logs. So here we are in the king size bed nature view room at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. And let me tell you what, it's a nice resort. It's a nice room as well. I think this is one of the newer remodeled rooms. Not too long ago, I think Disney came through and remodeled a lot of the rooms here uh, because it's got the vinyl flooring and some of the neat features that you'd find in a modern day hotel. So let's give a quick grand circle tour of our resort room. So right when you first walk in, you're greeted with this actually really cool light fixture inside the restroom. It's also pretty neat. There's a big sliding barn door that covers the main door for the bathroom. But check out this, uh, this is actually a really cool light. And I think it's, yeah, it's controlled right here. So you can turn it off. Kind of looks like granite or like a rock like the inside of a, a stone. It's kind of neat. It's cool lighting. And uh, you can see the mirror. Pretty neat. Dim, but it works. Really cool vanity. In fact, we actually thought about doing this type of faucet in our own home. And it looks like it's an oil rubbed bronze finish. That's You're going to see a lot of that. So if you like that style, a lot of earthy warm colors inside the room. Pretty cool. Bathroom. You'll see. Big Native American wilderness presence in this resort. Super cool. As you could tell by the lobby when we first came in. Check out this shower. It's actually kind of cool. This is tile. Yeah, it's tile. It's kind of neat. Good size shower. Plenty of headroom. Love the, the door. And you know where I stand on rainfall shower heads. Absolutely love them. And also this oil rubbed bronze. Really cool. You got your clothesline, which goes right in this little hole here, so you can dry your swimsuits. It's kind of cool. We'll put that away for now. You'll see the wooden trash cans going along with the theme. Lots of earthy tones inside this hotel room. You got over here, you have your oil rubbed bronze ice holder. They do have a Keurig and they've got some accessories for your coffee. This doesn't come with it. This is what we brought, but you got French roast decaf and it looks like caffeinated as well. Oh, and it looks like some tea. Interesting. Down here, we brought our soft drinks and water. In here, you got your handheld steamer, hair dryer, and a safe, and plenty of storage. And this is a sliding door. 
extra pillow up here and uh, pretty good closet space goes pretty far back and if you're interested in the thermostat it is right here and I think yeah I think that's on a sensor yep there's a sensor here interesting into the main room I thought this was cool this kind of rock look is on this side as well you can control it with this switch so if you want to turn it off you could turn it off but I, I don't know I kind of like it it's kind of cool looking I like it you got a nice little work area here plenty of USBs you've got an outlet on that side USB outputs here power switch there power socket there and your phone cool light and I love this wallpaper and that's what it is is wallpaper but it looks multi-dimensional and then on the king headboard you got a little reading light that you can position so it looks like yeah there's a little button there so whenever it's in place it turns off it's kind of cool and then I was trying to figure out what this is I couldn't figure it out for the longest time and then Jen pointed up to the ceiling it's actually a light for the top of the headboard so you could turn it off or turn it on it's kind of cool padded headboard this is the king size bed and check it out Sebastian the sloth he's on every trip we've ever taken and there's plenty of room underneath the bed for luggage like what we've done here there's our Riviera bag from when we stayed at the Riviera Resort we'll put a link in the description down below to the time we stayed there pretty cool and then you've got your trash and recycling this is a conjoined room but we're not going to be using that on this dresser here got multiple outlets and USB outlets plenty of USB outlets so you've got four power plugs right there and four USBs on just this dresser and plenty of drawer space six drawers Samsung TV I wonder how big this is and is it fixed oh it's you can move it okay interesting so you can kind of articulate it Paul Bunyan picture goes along with the theme here and you've got this table that kind of pulls out it's kind of interesting this is it's not it's not really a room that has like a workstation I guess it does over here but there's no like big desk area but I guess this will do the trick and then you've got this laying out chair you'll see even more USB plugs and power outlets and a remote that has been sanitized and cleaned pretty neat anything in this drawer the Holy Bible and then this is a nature view so we'll go out on the porch you can actually see this is where the cabins are so this is where the uh, cabins 8001 to 8012 are and in this direction is Magic Kingdom so maybe we'll see some fireworks tonight let's go outside and check it out the lens might fog up though hey, hey there's a gen <laughs> it's a really cool view it's nice so here's our view of the cabins that is the what is that cascade cascade cabins 8001 to 8012 nice. yeah it's a nice little water feature and check it out there's a bird's nest so we've masked up because we're going to go back down to the main lobby and check out the wilderness lodge mercantile 
Should be pretty cool. I'm hoping that they've got some resort specific merchandise because you know we love our merchandise. Every resort we stay out, I think we've gotten something from that yeah. resort. I have my Riviera bag this time. That's right, you did bring it. And we probably will check and see if they've got any new merchandise in general. Maybe some 50th stuff? I don't know. We'll check it out and Who see. Knows? Let's go. Yeah. I have to say, I do like kind of the design of the carpet. You got like your earthy colors. You got your Native American style. And it looks like like rock, like dirt minerals. It's kind of cool. Oh, here's a sneak peek of some of the resort specific <gasps> merchandise. Look at that bag. That's a cool looking bag. I don't need another bag. <laughs> Jen, you want to take a closer look at what they got? Yeah. So they have a big mug here. Very big mug. Mm -hmm. It's like a stein. It's the statue out front. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Right out front of the entrance. It's $23.99. The same thing on the other side? Yep. Disney's Wilderness Lodge. And they even have a Turvis cup, the larger size. Disney Wilderness Lodge, looks like it was built in 1994. And the price? $26.99. Pretty cool. And they even have this Humphrey the Bear mug. Pretty sure it's like the only place you can get a Humphrey the Bear mug on property. It's $16.99. Not a very common Disney character. No. And you got a... Disney Wilderness Lodge hat. It's like wool. Oh yeah, you're uh, right. It's like thick. And it says Bear Crossing. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're right. It does. For twenty-seven ninety-nine, but then it's also got flannel. <laughs> flat it's an out. Inter the... Interesting. Yeah. Interesting hat. So this is a new bag, Jen. I know. I know how much you love bags. Um, it's like um, like an actual, like um, basket weaving. Almost. Oh yeah, you're right. For $64.99. Oh my god, it is beautiful. It's very pretty. It's got like a Native American vibe. I too. love that. They even have a magnet here that says, I'm a glamper, not a camper. Um, yeah. I would I would agree with that. For $9.99. For $9.99. It's almost as though they're kind of poking fun at the uh, Fort Wilderness right next to us. <laughs> <laughs> or us. And they have a a robe. It is so nice. It says Wilderness Lodge on it. It is so nice. For $74.99. Like, very nice. That's very nice. Very, <sighs> very soft. It's very soft. I know. I'm just like touching it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a sign here that says Designed for Disney Wilderness Lodge. And it's all the resort themed merchandise. Like this three quarter sleeve shirt that says Disney Wilderness Lodge on it. 30, $34.99. Oh, check it out, Jen. It's my polo that I'll be getting. Yeah. It says Disney Wilderness Lodge $44. for $44.99. That's cool. They even have a, a like a, I guess a, like a sweater? sweater? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty. And you got Snow White. It's an interesting shirt. It's a deep it's like cut. Felt. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's got all little animal friends. $34.99. Okay. And then the kid's shirt. Just like the uh, statue out front of the shop for $24.99. No. So now that we've stayed here, we can actually get this Wilderness Lodge pin for $9.99. Or we can get the one with the characters stacked on top of each other. I think I want one of these. For $12.99. <laughs> That's cool. So we just left Wilderness Lodge Mercantile. Mm -hmm. Jen, what did you think of the merchandise? I thought it was going to be a little bit more. Yeah. It's not a whole lot. I guess we're used to the Riviera. Riviera still had the most merchandise. Yeah. Exclusive they had, merchandise. Like, everything. But I might swing by and pick up the polo. I think the polo is pretty cool, and you might get the bag. Like you I need any more bags. I'm not going to get the bag. <laughs> I'm not going to get the bag. Anyway, we're going to go down and check out the pool and see what's what it looks like. So we just came out of there, which is the main lobby. Came out all the way over here. There's a nice little directory that tells you this way to the Overlook, Copper Creek Pool, Bike and Boat Rental, and Geyser Point Bar are down that way. Let's go to the Overlook first since we're up here. Question. What's that? Are they doing bike rentals right now? I don't know. I want to ride a bike. That would be kind of fun. That would be fun. I brought wonder, sneakers just in wonder case. wonder if there's a bike trail. I don't know. We could always walk it if anything. That's true. Right over here you got Copper Creek Falls. I guess this is Copper Creek Falls. 
which goes into the pool down there. It's a very pretty resort. It sure is. Very pretty. I like it. Yeah, me too. Well, there's Copper Creek Falls. That's super cool. And it does. Check it out, Jen. It does go into the pool. How what? neat is that? Oh my god, it does. The How water. did I never know that? Actually, you know what? Maybe it doesn't. Because now that I'm looking at it underneath the bridge, oh, it's, blocked it's off. an illusion. They make you think it's a part of the pool. The beavers built a dam. But it's, yeah, <laughs> that, that's exactly what it is. The beaver dam right there. Preventing the water. So, so I'm assuming that that water right there is just recycled from the pool. And this water is not the same. I was about to say, that's a little strange. People like flick coins into that water. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't really want them flicking it into the same water that you're swimming in. So it kind of makes sense. Yeah. So here we are at the Overlook looking out at the pool. That's a big pool. Can't wait to go lounge by the pool. It's gonna be nice. And you've got Roaring Fork right down there. I think that's Artist Point up on top. Could be wrong. Artist Point think... isn't open right now though. No, it is not. So that's the only food thing here that's not available. Correct. I think everything else is. Geyser Point, I'm excited for. Okay, look at this. Is that the spa? What's like that? that Thing? The Salon Springs? Yeah. It might be. Or is that the arcade? I don't know. We'll have to go check it out. Let's go explore. So here is Copper Creek Falls and uh, the fake water under the bridge because we know that that is not true. That looks different colored. It does actually. This is like wider and this is a little bit darker. Yeah. But that is the overlook right there where we were just at. And just. All I can see is all these rooms that overlooks this Copper Creek area. It's gotta, gotta be a cool view at night. Yeah. It's a very pretty resort. Now during normal times, this would be the spa salon by the springs. But as you can see, they're temporarily closed. But it gives you an idea of what it looks like inside there. So you'll see Copper Creek Falls off in the distance there. That's the swimming pool. And then right here, you've got the creek that continues all the way down to the geyser. There's a lot of uh, landscaping here. It's a very pretty resort. This reminds me of Hilton Head. Oh like yes, you're right, like the marshiness. Yeah. We'll put a link in the description down below to the time we stayed at Hilton Head Island Resort where we had a marsh view. This is a geyser view right here. Yeah. Totally. It looks like that is the the station, boat transportation to the Magic Kingdom. I would presume you take that route to get there. Oh yeah. This is actually the first time we've ever kind of like really looked around. really wandered around this resort. And by the way, that over there is Geyser Point Bar and Grill, which I'm super stoked about. I might try I, my first ever bison burger. I looked, it's only a five minute walk up wait. Oh, that's doable. Yeah. But maybe if we're lucky, we'll be able to see we the geyser. Her. Oh, I see it spewing. A little bit. A little bit, it, it's spitting. It's spitting. That's cool. And it's got like a nice little like geyser pond here. I don't know the exact geographical name for it but it's very pretty you want to go over there and get a closer look at the geyser okay and maybe it'll go off and just underneath this bridge the water continues to flow i love how the water kind of snakes through the whole resort this water kind of spills over and meets up with the little creek that's running next to geyser point down there well yeah. Oh, it oh. looks like the geyser might be spewing. Oh, maybe not. It's I just, think it's just spit. Up. It's just revving up. It's revving up. As I was waiting here for the geyser to spew, it's just teasing us, it's just teasing us right now with these little spurts. I happened to notice a hidden Mickey in the, the ground here. Where? It's right there in the runoff. Do you see it? No. It's right 
there, right in the runoff. Oh, I see it. Pretty cool, right? It took me a minute. Yeah, it's in the rock formation. Pretty neat. So I looked it up. The name of this particular geyser is not Geyser Point. Geyser Point is the name of the restaurant down yonder. It's called Fire Rock Geyser. It's a pretty cool nature trail that we encountered here. Yeah. That's the way back to the lobby in Roaring Fork. The pool's right over here, the little kid's splash pad. This is Fire Rock Geyser. And I love how they've kind of like built around the trees. Yeah. It's neat. That is cool. Kind of cool, but this whole area is built on kind of like a marsh, like a water marsh. It's kind of neat. Yeah. And it is a very pretty resort that blends in beautifully with the scenery. Oh, yeah. It's kind of neat. This definitely reminds me a little bit of... Um, uh, Hilton Head? Hilton Head and like Wild Florida. Oh, yeah. This part reminds me of Wild yeah. Florida. Yeah. This is cool. So a little bit of wayfinding back there is Fire Rock Geyser. We've walked along this pathway. You've got the Cascade Cabins this direction and our room, which is on the other side facing that way. And then over here is boat transportation to the Magic Kingdom. Check it out. Here comes the boat now. Mermaid One. Pretty cool. So if we wanted to go to Magic Kingdom to watch the fireworks. I want to watch them from here first. Okay. All right, we can do that. Is. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. I never noticed this, but the water from Fire Rock Geyser heads right out into Bay Lake. It's kind of neat. Yeah. Is it a railroad? I think that's what they're oh, going for. Like Reun so Reunion Station is on the other side of Geyser Point Bar and Grill, and this is kind of the recreation area. But I love the theming they did here because they made it look like a railroad. And there's the water tower. It's kind of neat. It goes all the way out to the boat rentals, which unfortunately it doesn't look like they're doing any bike or boat rentals right now. Definitely looks like it's closed. Oh, check it out. There's a squirrel. We saw a squirrel jump from tree to tree and it was very far away. Squirrels lurking about. They even have a sign here that says Fishing at the Lodge, presented by TakeMeFishing.org. You could join one of their fishing excursions, except I don't think that's happening right now. As this area of the resort's kind of desolate right now. Yeah. There's some more Cascade Cabins straight ahead. And here's Boulder Ridge Cove. This might be the pool we go to. It's very quiet over here. Yeah. And to keep with the theming, they've got Boulder Ridge Railway and Mining Company with big giant boulders sticking out the top. That's why they're everywhere. Yeah, it's why you got the railroad tracks here. And it's got, on the water tower, it says Boulder Ridge, the Railway and Mining Company pretty cool yeah and we did just take a peek at the pool over yeah. here boulder ridge cove and it's kind of like um it almost looks as though it's like a train station like an abandoned yeah. train station yeah it's but what's cool. cool is we don't have magic bands and you have to tap a band to go in but you can use your phone yeah with the um door unlocked yep. so as long as you have the my disney experience you can use that yeah. unlock door feature to yeah. get into all the amenities we thought we'd try it yeah oh jen we're missing the <laughs> geyser Good thing we all have all day tomorrow. That's true. Good thing we're staying at the resort. Fire! Oh, looks like they're making s'mores. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I should look at the s'mores or if I should look at the geyser going off. Let's see how long the geyser goes for. Wow, do you hear that roar? It's so loud. Wow. There's the geyser. That's cool. I can see why they don't do it all day long. Yeah. It's like once an hour. Yeah, it's, that's loud. Pretty cool. It's at the top of the hour. Every hour. Up until like 10 o'clock. 
Yeah. Because you don't want to be in one of those rooms listening to the geyser go off every hour. You intend to sound a little late. <laughs> yeah. So it looks as though the geyser is running out of steam. See, yeah. see you in an hour. <laughs> Toasted marshmallows. It's gonna be, yeah. Completely brown. All right, you ready to eat your toasted marshmallows? Yes. I'm just gonna like eat it like this. <laughs> I don't even know how to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what a mess. <laughs> That's why I don't like marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. This. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mess. Marshmallows. Great dinner. Yeah. Ready to load up some more? Oh, I guess. We got four more to burn. <laughs> It's almost too hot for this. Oh no! <laughs> there we go. Okay. The top one's like expanding. Do you see that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Give yeah, it a I shot. think. Yeah, I think it's that's good enough. Look at that one. <laughs> Wait. Whoa. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> oh my gosh. That jiggle, got jiggle, jiggle. Burnt. Yeah, I like them burnt sometimes. I'm gonna have to do it this way because it's just gonna <laughs> fall off. It's just gonna fall off. Like it's just gonna be. Yeah. It's gonna be bad. Ugh. Good. Good. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so we decided to go to Roaring Fork for dinner. Yeah. Jen, what did you end up getting? So I got the lumberjack platter, which is pulled pork, macaroni and cheese, cornbread, and coleslaw. All right. What'd you get? I ended up getting the chicken tenders. And? Oh, and this exciting campfire cupcake, which is chocolate, marshmallows, and I think chocolate candy? Yeah. It, it, it's like a chocolate lover's paradise. What else did you get? Oh, that's right. I got the tomato bisque soup. It's a little warm for soup, but I like Disney tomato bisque soup. That's yeah. All, all right. You want to dig into your food first? Yeah, so I'll do the mac and cheese first. It kind of just looks like... Okay, we'll see. Very basic mac and cheese. Not your traditional Disney mac and cheese? Uh, I don't think it's as good. No? Mm -mm. Interesting. So now I got some pulled pork. That's pretty good. Yeah. All the sauce is on the top though, so I gotta, gotta like kind of... But it's kind of hard because I don't want all the sauce on the mac and cheese. It's pretty good. I'm sure it's better elsewhere. Like, I don't know if I'd get this again. Really? Yeah. But I'll eat it. I'm not one for coleslaw, but let's try this. You mean cornbread? No. Coleslaw. Oh, oh, oh. You're, you're going to skip over the coleslaw. Yeah, I don't like for coleslaw. Now. How much was this? Eleven ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. So it's definitely like gonna fill me up for the rest of the night. So that's good. Cornbread might be my favorite part. Really? Mhm. Mm you want to try some of my cheddar biscuit? I'll try the cornbread just for. You mean the coleslaw? Coleslaw. <laughs> yeah, I don't like coleslaw. Here's the cheddar drop biscuit. It's like the cheddar drop biscuits that you made. Mine are better. <laughs> These are warm though. Yeah, they gave it with my uh, tomato bisque. Ooh, I wonder what it's like with the tomato bisque. Tomato bisque. Yeah? Mmm. Here. I only have a little left. It's fine. That's a pretty good combo. Okay. All right. I like that combo. I like that. You gonna try your chicken nugs? Chicken tenders. <laughs> Not nuggets, chicken tenders. Chicken tendies. Western style chicken tenders. I think that's just because this is like Native American. I wonder what Native American chicken tenders are like. Is it weird? Oh. It tastes like um, the chicken tenders you'd get from like Publix, like their deli. Oh, like the chicken tender pub sub? Kind of, yeah. exactly what it tastes like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you get four pieces. And I got a bunch of fries. How are the fries? 
I know you had one, yeah. They're your standard fries. But I am excited for that cupcake. It looks so cute. Yeah, it is very cute with a little little s'more. Oh my god, it's so cute. I was oh. gonna get the s'mores cupcake, but I already had a lot of little s'more. <laughs> oh my god. That's cute. I'm looking forward to that. And for the soup. Well you tried it on your bread. That's true. But for the tomato bisque soup. So good. Yeah. So good. Reminds me of the one that I ate when we stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Oh yeah. Mm. Didn't you have it at Riviera too? That's right. I did have oh, it. This is like a trend. It's a trend. What's the best one? <laughs> I think they're all kind of the same. <laughs> but they're good. All right, we are back at the room. Cuz the camera battery died. Camera battery died down at Roaring Fork, so we're going to try the campfire cupcake in the room. I almost said stateroom, but that would be we're on a cruise and yeah. we're not on a cruise. Holy cow, wow. that smells amazing. Look at that. That is rich chocolate cupcake right there. Oh my god. This is falling apart too. Is it? Well, it's kind of, I don't know what's going on there, but. Oh yeah, you're right. Should we cut it's... it in half? Let's do it. Cross section, cross section, cross section. It's oh my god, apart. is that thing full of marshmallow? Not yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's falling apart. Wow, is that a dry cupcake? Uh, maybe. I think it's cookie crumble. I think some of it's cookie crumble. So, there's definitely chocolate candies on right, there. I'm eating a little marshmallow. I wonder if it was supposed to be chilled. We did have it outside for a while. Mmm. Oh, well, that's worth it though. It is like um. Cookie crumble. Cookie crumble, or like um, cookies and cream. Yeah. Has a cookies and cream taste to it. So much for the cross section. I'm trying to. There you go. Good angle. Always wants to zoom, always wants to focus on my face, but this is like a lot of marshmallow. It's good though. Mmm. It reminds me a lot of like a worms and dirt. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but not the pudding. I have to say though, it's a unique dessert. A little messy. Very messy. I mean, you need to see this aftermath. Here's the aftermath. You see what I'm saying about how it's just... Look, uh, yeah. It's just crumbled. Very messy. But very good. So how would you rate this? This, uh, this is my favorite thing I've eaten today. Really? Yeah. No, it's good. It's not heavy. Yeah. It's like a light chocolate. That's which, good. Which is also dangerous because I could eat the whole thing. <laughs> so that's going to do it for us on our check-in day at Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort. Yeah. Do you have a fun day so far? Yeah. It's a beautiful resort. We did a lot of exploring. We did. Today was more of kind of an exploration day. Yeah. Now tomorrow, we're going to enjoy a day at the pool because we're going to enjoy the amenities. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to probably watch Electrical Water Pageant tomorrow as well. Uh, but I think right now, we're going to wrap it up. I think we might do a live stream down near the geyser. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe because occasionally we'll do live streams. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Jen, tell them what to do if they want to join our adventures. Make sure to tap that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell to become a super subscriber. And until next time, see, see you real soon. soon.